Hi students, 11th standard chemistry, quantum mechanical model of an atom, unit 2. So last class we have discussed about the principal quantum number and this class we will see about the azimuthal quantum number. So this azimuthal quantum number can be represented by the letter L and this quantum number describes the shapes of an orbital. This, this is represented as small m and describes the shapes of an orbital. So this azimuthal quantum number L has some values. What are all the values? Let us see the values of L. L is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. n minus 1. Here n represents the principal quantum number. Okay, already we have studied the principal quantum number. That principal quantum number represented as small m. So when L is equal to 0, here the L values we have taken here. When L is equal to 0, it represents the S subshell. When L is equal to 1, it represents P subshell. When L is equal to 2, this represents D subshell. When L is equal to 3, this represents F subshell. So we can finally we can write that S, P, D, F orbitals is having the value of 0. If it is S means it is 0. If it is P means it is 1. If it is D means it is 2. If it is F means it is 3. So this is the L value of the S, P, D, F orbitals. Okay. In principal quantum numbers, we have studied that how to find out the maximum number of electrons. There we have used the formula 2n square. This formula used to represent the principal quantum number. In By using this formula, we can find out the maximum number of electrons. Okay. In the same way, we can find out the maximum number of electrons in azimuthal quantum number 2. Okay. The formula is given here 2 into 2L plus 1. Here this L represents the azimuthal quantum number. Okay. So this azimuthal quantum number values for all the orbital or all the subshell S, P and D, F we are going to calculate now. So for F subshell I am going to calculate the maximum number of electron by using the formula which is given here. What is the formula? 2 into 2L plus 1. So this is the formula is given to calculate the maximum number of electrons. So for F subshell, S subshell I am going to calculate the maximum number of electrons. 2 what is the L value for S subshell? L value for S subshell is 0. So in the place of L, I am going to substitute the value 0. So 2 into 2 0 plus 1. Finally, what is the thing I will get? 2 multiplied 0 will be 0. So 1, 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. So what is the maximum number of electrons that can be present in the S subshell? Only 2 electrons, okay. It can accommodate only 2 electrons. Then we can go for the P subshell. The formula is given here. What is the formula? 2 into 2L plus 1. This is the formula where L is the azimuthal quantum number. Since it is a P subshell, what is the value of L for P subshell? The value of L is given here. The value of L for P subshell is 1. I am going to substitute 1 here. So 2 into 1 plus 1. What is the value that I will get? 
2 plus 1 3 3 multiplied by 2 means I will get 6 electrons so the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the p subshell or the p orbital will be 6 electrons then we can go for the d subshell we know the formula already 2 into 2l plus 1 so this is the formula to calculate the maximum number of electrons for d sub if it is d subshell means what is the value of L here if it is D the value of L will be 2 so I am going to substitute 2 in the place of L here so 2 into 2 in the place of L I am going to substitute the value of D the value of D is 2 so I have written here then plus 1 2 into 2 4 plus 1 5 5 multiplied by 2 I will get the value 10 in D subshell the maximum electrons present will be 10 electrons then we can go for the last one F subshell what is the formula 2 into 2L plus 1 so what is the last value there 3 I have to substitute here so 2 into 3 plus 1 so 2 into 3 6 6 plus 1 7 7 multiplied by 2 I will get 14 electrons in this way I can find out the maximum number of electrons which is present in the s p d and f orbitals okay for s orbitals what is the maximum number of electrons 2 electrons for p orbitals what is the maximum number of electrons 6 for d orbital what is the maximum number of electrons it can accommodate only 10 electrons for f subshell what is the maximum number of electrons it can accommodate only 14 electrons okay by using this we can use to calculate the orbital angular momentum by using the formula so square root the formula is given square root of L into L plus 1 multiplied by H pi 2 pi where H is the Planck's constant. So hope it is clear for everyone. Thank you.